What happens to you when you hold a sneeze? As unbelievable as sneezing may sound to you, it is very real. It is the speed at which the droplets will likely leave your mouth. But for this to happen, the body has a powerful mechanism of increasing air pressure and releasing it abruptly. This involves some risks when someone tries to block it. According to the otolaryngologist, Drive, Allison Catlett Woodall of the University of Arkansas Hospital Medical Center, holding, your sneeze is not a good idea at all. Before sneezing, a significant amount of air pressure builds up in the lungs in preparation for the immediate evacuation of the nasal cavity. If the sneeze is held back by pinching the nose or keeping the mouth closed, this pushes the compressed air back up the eustachian tube and into the middle ear cavity, explains Dr. Woodall. The risk of injury and hearing loss from this practice may be low. However, it is not impossible. The pressure from a sneeze is capable of causing inner ear damage, including a ruptured eardrum. This type of trauma to the membranes of the middle and inner ear causes sudden severe hearing loss, deafness, and even vertigo, adds Dr. Woodall. Other injuries that can occur if you hold in a sneeze include diaphragmatic injuries, ruptured blood vessels in the eyes, and ruptured or weakened blood vessels in the brain. How can you avoid these injuries? The best option is to let yourself sneeze without any restrictions.